Hey everybody, welcome back. So the wheel strategy, we're going to dive right into it in this video. I'm going to talk about what the wheel strategy is. I'm going to kind of break down briefly what puts are, what covered calls are, and then I'm going to show you how I apply this. I'm not recommending anyone follow up this advice. This is just what I do and hopefully maybe you can learn something from it. But we're going to jump in. I'm going to show you how I trade the wheel how I trade the wheel for income, and then the kicker is gonna be that I'm setting up a separate account that I'm calling the wheel account, and it's only gonna be for my wheel strategy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy, basically put one position on in that account and then make videos around that, and nothing else is gonna happen in that account. Just the wheel and just on one stock right now. So I wanna dive into this video, break the wheel down for you, show you exactly how it works, and then you can ask questions in the comment section, or if you wanna feel free to join the channel and grab a channel membership, it's $25, you get access to our private Slack channel, and you get sort of preferential response to comments from me, so you'll have direct access for asking questions and sort of figuring out problems. It's a great way to support the channel. If you get any value out of this video, I recommend grab a membership, come join us, check us out for a month. So let's dive into this. So we're looking at Novavax on the Tastyworks platform, and we're gonna walk through the wheel strategy. I've seen a lot of videos on this on YouTube recently, and it's been great to see, and I've learned a lot from other people, and I kind of have my own way of doing it, and I wanna show that to you on my channel, and I basically wanna just kind of break this all down, but then apply it. I wanna show you that wheel account, and I wanna show you how I'm just gonna trade one position over and over and over in this account and keep you up to date on its progress. So we've got Novavax here and you can see on this options chain that I basically just opened the 30 day expiration, June 18th. So I'm opening that up and then you can see the top of this brown bar to the bottom. That's the expected move of Novavax over the next 30 days. Up here you can see some, some volatility, numbers of 116. Now Novavax is a biotechnical stock and a little more risky, a little more volatile, which brings more premium. So for what I like to do, I like to keep my position small, meaning just a one lot, just 100 shares if I get involved with the wheel. And I like to use this to try to generate some income. I like to think about it like, you know, could you find a stock that you could repeatedly trade and maybe pay your mortgage every month? And that's kind of the goal of this video, is to just show you the possibilities, but then to take it one step farther, because I haven't seen this on YouTube yet, and if you've seen it, please drop me a comment and let me know what videos, because I like to watch them, but I haven't seen anyone just start doing it and show you what's happening day by day. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm re I've recently deposited money into an account at Tastyworks. It's it's a separate account, it's just gonna be the wheel account, and that video will be coming very soon, and that'll be a series of videos, so stick around for that. So let's pretend that um, we're gonna trade Novavax here, and what you do to start off the wheel is you do something called selling a cash secured put. Now, a put, if you don't know what that is, you can check out this video here, and also covered calls, I'll put a link, uh, a link below so you can check out both the put video and the covered call video if you don't understand those, and I would recommend running over to those and then coming back to this, so you'll have a little better understanding. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell the $130 put, okay, right in here. Now, to make this easier so that numbers, because the markets are open right now, I'm gonna put up this picture right here. This is a screenshot, so you can see the 130 puts is trading for $1,130. And that's basically 11.30 because it's per share. So $11.30 per share for 100 shares. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna collect that money. And then once we have that money in our account, it's ours. Right away that premium is yours. So now that the trade is set up, we have the 130 strike and our expiration is 30 days. So basically now we just sit and wait. We watch the price action, we see what happens. now. If price action stays above $130 at our expiration, what happens? We basically just let things expire, we keep the premium, and then we just rinse and repeat. We do the same thing again. Now, you might be asking, how did I pick 130? My goal is to try to get around $1,000, a little over $1,000, and somewhere between 30 and 35 delta. Um, the deltas, you can do a little reading on, I can put a link in the description, but the delta is just basically telling you 
what is the probability? You can almost think of these as a percentage. So 30 delta would be like saying there's a 30% chance that this contract will be in the money and a 70% chance the contract will be out of the money at expiration. Out of the money meaning expiring worthless so we can repeat it. In the money meaning we get assigned the shares. So if price is above 130 at expiration, nothing happens. Ex the contract expires, we repeat the process for the next 30 day cycle. Now, what happens if price goes below 130 at expiration and expires below 130? What we do is we would get assigned the shares at 130. So no matter where it is, say it's at 115, we still get assigned the shares at 130, so we're down $15. That's one of the risks of selling cash secured puts, is that you could be down when you're assigned. You're stuck, you're committed at this strike price of $130. So if we do get assigned, then we have to buy the shares at 130, and then you say, well, what's the next step? Well, we move on to the next component of the wheel, which will be to sell covered calls. If you don't know what covered calls are, there's a link down in the description, you can check that out. Check it out real quick and then come right back. But basically, what I would do is now we have the shares at 130, and so I would be looking to sell the 150 strike for this example. Now, because the markets are open and because um, I took some screenshots, things can be a little different from what the markets are saying, but in this screenshot, I'm saying let's sell the 150 calls, okay? These are a covered call, meaning we own the shares and we're selling a call above. So if we sell this, and this is my preference, I prefer to sell a pretty aggressive call because I wanna collect a lot of premium and I'm okay with losing the shares. So if we sell the $150 call, and let's sell that for, let's say, $1,400. Okay, so we get that $1,400 cash. We're in the next 30-day cycle. So we already collected our $1,130 from before. And now we're in the next 30-day cycle, and we just sold one for $1,400. That cash goes into our account, and now we wait. Same process, just on the other side of things. Now, if the price stays below $150 at expiration, what happens? Well, we keep the premium and we keep the shares and we repeat the process. It's very simple. Now, if price happens to be above 150 at expiration, here's where it gets interesting. You lose those shares, but here's the kicker. You keep the premium and you keep the difference between where you bought the shares and where you sell the shares. So we got put the shares at 130, okay? And we went ahead and sold the 150. So we got $1,400 premium that we keep, and then if it's above 150 and those shares get called away, we make the difference between 30 and 50, which is another 2,000. So this month would be 1,400 plus 2,000, which would be 3,400 for the month. Now, yes, there is a downside to this. Let's say Novavax goes to $500 a share. You still only get the difference between 130 and 150 because you're committed you basically are granting someone else the opportunity but not the obligation to buy those shares from you at 150. Okay, so that's how that works. There's limited upside and you miss out on big moon-like moonshot moves, but our goal isn't to hit a home run. And I see a lot of that on YouTube. People just wanting to hit home runs and they always say the downside is what if the stock goes to 500 or what if it goes to 225? And for me, I really don't care about that because I'm just interested in what am I doing in this 30-day window? Am I generating cash every single month? Because Novavax isn't gonna go to $500 every month. It's not, you know, those moonshot opportunities, those meme stocks, yes, they have huge upside, but what are the realistic chances? I'd rather hit base hits and generate income and pay my mortgage every month rather than hope for a long shot to get rich. And so in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and complete that wheel by losing the shares. Now, if we didn't lose the shares and it stayed below, the wheel is still in action. We'd still have the shares and we'd still be able to put on another covered call the next month. But let's say we lost the shares. Now you can see right here our total profit because you're gonna take your 1130 plus the 1400, which is gonna be 2530, plus we sold the shares for another 2000. So 2530, 4530 would be your total profit for the two months. Now, of course, 
the stock can go down further, the stock you choose might not pay as much premium. So everything is variable. Stocks pay different premium based on their volatility levels. So, you know, something like Apple, if I just show you a quick example here. You know, Apple, if I open up 30 days, volatility is much lower. You can see 33 over here. So you might be able to start the wheel on Apple for maybe $2.45, $2.42. So it's, it's much less premium, but much less risk in that Apple doesn't move as much as Novavax. There's not as much possible downside um, based on historical data. But Novavax is really nice because it's not an overly expensive stock. And you know it's not a $500 stock, but it's something that you can really work on your cost basis. So let's look at this example. Look at where we bought the shares at 130, and then look at how much premium we've collected. If we subtract that premium from the amount that we paid, you can now see our cost basis. So this stock no longer costs us $130. It costs us this, I mean this which is remarkable. So now instead of, so now let's say Novavax goes to zero. They go bankrupt. You're not out $13,000. You're out 13,000 minus the credit you collected. So you can see where this can become very powerful because if you do this for five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 months, there's a possibility that you could pay for the stock outright and have free shares that you could then keep using as a generator. Sometimes I like to, or how I like to look at this is, Think about someone who buys a business and maybe they take a loan, right? Maybe they they pay a, a million dollars up front. And that million dollars, say the business is losing a little bit of money and it's not worth a million dollars, it's worth a little less, but they're paying all their employees, they're paying the owner, they're paying the bills, every month they're paying it and they're paying down their loan. It's kind of like a mortgage. As you, you don't really worry about what your house is, is worth in the day to day or the month to month because you're just kind of worried about it paying itself off. So if you owned a house and you rented it, say to someone, you have a mortgage, you're not really worried about the value of the house because it's consistently paying you every single month, which is reducing your cost basis or reducing your mortgage amount. Someone pays you $2,000 a month, that's $24,000 a year. You deduct that from how much you took on your mortgage and you can see how that would slowly stair step down until you pay the house off. Shares are kind of the same way with covered calls and using the wheel. You're trying to basically pay off the house. Novavax or whatever stock you pick, those 100 shares, that's the house. As Soon as you can pay that off, now you're just getting straight 100% income. So if you pay off your house and you're renting it to someone, now you don't have to pay the mortgage. Now all you're doing is just taking in that money. Sort of the same idea. So this is a cash generation sort of plan or strategy that's very simple, you hear a lot of people talking about it and it's it's become very popular but it's very effective and if you have comments below or questions let me know come over to the channel grab a membership join our slack channel let's talk more about the wheel and then when i go live with my wheel account i'm going to make a video explain it show you what i'm doing i'm even going to film when i sell the first cash secured put so stick around for that glad to see you thank you for stopping by and we'll see you in the next video